Uh, first of all, let me bring my condolences uh, to the families of the Birim who are right here with us. It is actually very, very unfortunate, especially for the people of Subano, because we just buried the first victim uh, of the other lake tragedy yesterday. We still have two who have not even been buried, and then this one has now befallen us again. So let me first of all take this opportunity to say pole sana to the people who are bereaved. I want to then say that it is indeed very saddening that we had the Parliamentary Committee on Security that were visiting here yesterday. The committee had made, I raised an issue with the Parliament and the Parliamentary Committee came. They have not even finished their report and this tragedy has happened. There indeed is a problem that the national government must take urgent action around to secure the lives of the people here. Uh, the, one, the other one that happened in Homer Bay, I think the issues that were arising there were issues, uh, for instance, to do with the people not wearing life jackets and all that. But here, we have a new emerging problem that the national government must deal with very urgently. That you look at this um, causeway, this is actually also where my father died. And what happens is because it is very deep, uh, it cost a lot of lives around that time when the, when the bridge was not built. When the bridge was built, the cases or the incidents of death went down. But now that you can even see there's still a ship that is dredging. Uh, there's a, a, a dredging equipment over there. And therefore it means that it is even going to be much deeper because we are expecting ship to pass from here all the way to Tanzania and Uganda. And because of that, the current that is going to be felt right under the bridge is going to be extremely severe. And this tragedy is just evidence of what we are talking about. And so the national government must do one, that they must have a boat here for urgent rescue, in case there is a tragedy. Because if there is quick response, quick emergency response, because uh, the fact that there were people who are making a lot of noise is actually what made um, at least, uh, I think there were two who were rescued. But imagine if there was a government agency right here that is able to deal with uh, such emergencies, then we probably would have uh, managed to rescue the others. But I'm also encouraging our team and we'll work together with them as leaders, as local leaders, that we need to wear life jackets.